Ready, pair? Yep. Go. Nice shot, guy. You got him. You got him. He's down. Two, I had to get him right. He was just stepping through that little opening. You see, I stepped out with one foot yep, I and I squeezed it right off and hammered him, I think, right in the shoulder. Just boom, just laid him straight down. What a buck! Well, folks, now what we're going to do is we're going to cure the antlers here. We have the, this buck is in the velvet. This is the first half of September here, so the bucks are in the velvet. They're getting ready to shed, but I definitely want to keep the velvet on this buck when I have him mounted. Um, you know, you definitely don't want to waste good velvet on a big old buck like this. It's not a lot of places you can get them in the velvet, and uh, I was real fortunate to take this big old buck here in Colorado. So what we're going to do is we're going to cure the velvet. This is a velvet curing kit. I got this, you can get it from your local taxidermist. I got this from the good uh, taxidermist up in Libby, Montana at uh, Wildlife Recapture. His name is Mel. He's the guy that does all the, the uh, taxidermy for the Eastman's Trophy Deer display. And also he does my taxidermy personally. So he gave me this kit. What it consists of is antler and velvet tan solution, hypodermic needle, careful with that one, and a paintbrush. The velvet is actually like hide, and so there's hide with hair on it over the top of the antlers, but in between that, there's all kinds of fluids and blood and whatnot. So that's what we have to get out of the antler. We have to get find a way to get the fluid from underneath the hide on these antlers out of there and replace it with this solution, which is gonna actually tan this hide just much like leather. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna poke holes with this hypodermic needle on the tops of all the points, two or three holes on the tops of each point. Then we're going to turn this upside down like this and we're going to inject the fluid at the bases. And what's going to happen is that fluid's going to run down through the antlers and out the holes in the tips. And we're going to have to do that probably two or three times because we want to keep injecting this until the fluid that comes out the tips of the antlers is clear, no longer bloody. Then we're going to take a paintbrush and paint a real thick solution of this on the outside of the antlers and let them dry. Uh, then we'll be able to freeze it and take it to the taxidermist and this will be uh, cured and, and saved for, for the, uh, the mount. You want to be real careful, you don't poke the holes, rip the velvet. Especially right now because these bucks are getting ready to shed this velvet so it's getting just a little bit soft. What we do is just paint on a coat on the outside, a thick, thick coat. The whole idea here is to coat it inside and out with, uh, with this. You want to make sure you paint it on real good. It'll look a little funny, kind of like a wet rat, but it'll dry. And then once it's dry, totally cured, you can fluff it up with a, a hair dryer. About it, so we'll let this dry. Come back in a few hours or this evening and pump a little more of the injector sauce and the marinade inside. And, uh, and it'll be good. Let it dry real good, fluff it up, put it in the freezer, and it's off to the taxidermist up to uh, Libby, Montana, and up to Mel's place to get uh, mounted. 
trophy room. It'll be awesome. Wait till it's done. Here we go.